but I mean, look at this. You can even see right now. Um, look on Budo's face. Oh, I don't know. Budo always yeah, looks Budo nervous, looks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the, the key is that Tokido, he has like this little smile on his face. You know, <laughs> the evil There's, smile in his yeah. heart. Whereas Budo looks like a kid who sort of forgot he had a test today or something like <laughs> yeah, that. I He's know, like, right? oh boy. <laughs> let's see how this study. goes. I, I shouldn't have taken that nap. I slept <laughs> the whole time. I overslept my alarm. What do I do? We're laughing, but don't be fooled. Budo has the heart of a stone killer. Great success across a number of games. Uh, extremely intelligent player, and as you said, Takedo uh, understands that he's the champion of the 50-50 mix-up. Absolutely. Uh, but is going to try and be able to step back. Choosing the Monster Hunter costume. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, and, and, and Fudo, I mean, he really is. The decision-making that he has comes from his background of so many different fighting games, in particular Virtua Fighter, a game that exactly. really kind of promotes that Heavily, understanding yeah, your opponent. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah. Tough the choices. The Monster Hunter costume, I call it in particular because it's also, I feel like, hides some of her actions a little bit more. You see Mika oh, bobbing yeah. and weaving. This is one of the busiest costumes she has, so you can generate a little it's bit true. of visual noise on the screen. Give yourself these tiny little edge advantages, potentially, over your opponent. And you know, Tokido, of course, going with Akuma after he won uh, last year, suddenly everyone's like, Tokido's def I mean, T Akuma's definitely top tier. Yeah, and, and let's be honest, Tokido and Akuma, Akuma's that dominant Shoto. What a whip punish right there for Tokido. That standing and medium is going to be a big part of this game. Yeah, and the one thing is, like, during season maybe one and one and a half, Tokido had weaknesses, like he wasn't very particularly strong in the anti-air. He would concentrate on the ground too much. A rare instance of the Demon Flip actually losing to another attack. Beautiful counter by Fudo with All the charge right, well, Here's a great start for Fudo now. Oh, the Nadeshko saving him and oh, using the armor to get so through smart. there. smart. Lost corner position, had to give up the mix-up on Wake Up. All right, nah, okay, good, good. Oh, there wasn't a hit. Far. A little too far for that fireball. Beautiful air-to-air -air from Fudo. Fudo oh, wow. yep. That, that was like the far. last possible frame on that <laughs> confirm. So good, finds the throw. Takedo on his back here in round one. Again, though, I mean, he, despite losing that round, there, you, like I said, you could just see it in the way that he plays, the footsies, the crouching medium kick that he plays, the, just finding the right moment to use all of Akuma's amazing ground oh, buttons. Knocking out the Shoryuken, that's just wrong. <laughs> but EX finds his purchase. Oh boy, confirm. Hit. Here comes the Deshko, gives the extra juggle into the setup. The reset. Command throw, and guess what? I'm gonna do it again. Let's get some brimstone action going here. And that's In, gonna be it. Into the typhoon, into the stun, Massive and going to be stun. into the kill. Just like that, Udo putting the reigning champion on his back in short order with fairly dominant rounds. We had that one instance where the low forward into fireball activation for Takeda was a little bit out of range, but beyond that, he played, he played about the game he was hoping to play. There wasn't like errors, he right. just gets beat. And you know what? I mean, like I said, Fudo has been not playing at up to what I felt like was Fudo level for the longest of time. Exactly. He's questioning himself. He's looking free and comfortable here. These guys have a lot of experience with each other, of course. But again, I love the movement, dashing in, find the throw, and again, challenge. It was one point in time, it was Fudo and Haitani that were considered the two most consistent players. Fudo right now finding the right time to try to build that, con that the consistency back. And look at that, that was so brilliant, getting hit out of the air so that Tatsu end up negative. Mm -hmm. So smart, and Fudo's hunting him. You have a Monster Hunter Tatsu, he's standing right out of that range, dashing with the throw, very difficult to And again, here. it didn't combo! And you know, that might also be a little bit of that costume uh, mix-up. Look at the punish on the jump out. He caught him with the command grab for the kill. Fudo looking incredibly strong. Yeah, and Tokido with a large exhale, but still a determined look on his face right now. And this is winner's bracket action. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned at the start of this, Tokido still likely the favorite to take this, but imagine if Fudo can right now take this down and get into winner's finals. That would be huge! Just Fine. like going through the fireball with the armor. I love the choice of normals here from Fudo throughout. He's mixing up the options making it work and making Fudo dance, or excuse me, Takedo dance this too. Switching sides using that EX Demon Flip. Oh no, every time you block that drop kick, you are not in a good situation. Oh! Fudo showing perhaps a little bit too much respect there in the Desco series, not opting for command grab ever. Oh, oh, faked it, faked it right there. You don't have to commit to it necessarily if you let go of heavy kick a little early, the back throw into the corner. Oh, he wanted to pull him out of the air, oh! but he's gonna get the confirm from that range. That was sick. And there we go. Fudo taking 
game number two. Still looks, uh, you see a little bit more, uh, yeah. He's, that's the internal Fudo smile. Takedo taking his moment, meditate. I don't use that word lightly. That is exactly what he's doing. He finds himself thinking through. Tokido is almost. I need to approach this. No. Almost, yeah, exactly. He's just looking to himself. But you know what? He's one of those players that's so good at adjusting, though. He is so good at adapting and figuring out the problems. And right now, you can see him trying to take as much time as he has allotted. And what's so incredible about this match to me is Fudo is really trying to play from that footsies range that Akuma loves to play at, and he's just dominating Takedo from the range where Akuma should be the strongest. And what's also interesting too is, you know, even though that Tokido has landed a couple of those crouch medium kicks into fireballs, and the V-trigger cancel, it's not at that range where the fireball combos. Exactly, and Fudo is dancing at that range specifically. Exactly. Right. Oh, there we go, nice whip punish there. It's an opportunity. Wow, wake up jab challenge. Gotta activate to save his own. I like the little jabs. Oh, yeah, that, he'll take it. He'll yeah, take was, it. No, that was all by the playbook. Exactly what Chiquita wanted there. Yeah, and there you see right there the V reversal against the drop kick, which is such a common tactic for so many players because they don't want to deal with that situation. Yeah, it's so plus on block. Giving uh, Mika the advantage on that. Looking for the confirm. And again, Chiquita reacting, but just not reacting well enough because the rotation of options here for Fudo is so good. Man, the resi Look, Fudo. Fudo had that amazing sequence because he literally did nothing. Yes. You know, he had the resistance not to hit a button. You know I love my nothing. Yeah. It's the most <laughs> exactly. elegant, elegant thing in the game where you can just see a, a stare down between two <laughs> great competitors. But Tokido was still able to take that round, so he is still in this thing right now. He's too talented to ever be considered out of a match. Absolutely. Uh, you can uh, count him out at your own peril. He's made a lot of incredible comebacks. What? There. Maybe a little bit of an option select. If he had exactly. gone for the drop kick, he would have carry. absorbed it yeah. on the armor. What? From that? Wow. Incredible. God, Fudo is the best at landing that. And, you know, he is so willing to use his meter in every single way possible. Takedo known for his hit confirms. Fudo trying to take that away from him as well. Pressure, but still in mid-screen. Yeah, gotta respect those air fireballs. Oh, that's There's gonna be a whip punish for sure. The trigger one is gone now. Oh, I like the tricky stuff. And Tokido has a life lead despite Fudo landing that critical art. Fudo, oh, oh, gets okay. the crush. Where's the guest goes? Oh, oh, how so much dirty. is this gonna kill? Oh, it is it gonna kill. Fudo uh, stealing that away. The passivity generated by the incoming of Deshko made Tokido pause a little bit. Fudo dashing in to seize on the opportunity with the command grab and the kill. Fireball right there, a nice confirm. Frame trap of the Strongs. He says you're going, unfortunately, not in the corner anymore. It's not season one, but it's EX Fireball. That's so fast out of the air. Oh, nice. Getting some damage, building a little bit of that V-Trigger meter with the V-Skill as well. Getting that as much as he possibly can. And while we'd always like to be in the corner, Takedo's corner control, some of the best in the business for my money. Yeah, again, it's very similar to what Problem X was doing. Kind of backing away, not pushing a little, not pushing too hard. Don't want to overcommit. Pretty oh presence boy. of mind. Oh, oh, shutting it down with the jab. Now just playing a control game. Very smart. Control play from Tokido. Tokido on the board now. Pulling One it back. to two. And after those sort of blowouts from Udo, this is it. And this is the worry. It's not just one game. It's... Does he have the reads now right. that he's been missing, that he was missing in those first games? Fudo was establishing the beat of the song. Takedo reacting to it. Now, can Fudo make his own counter adjustments? He just ripped the record right off of there. <laughs> he's like, I want to play my song. Stop. It looks like he's still playing a very similar game. Oh, great whip punish right there. Remember, both of these players, former EVO champions, of course, Tokido last year and in 2002. Absolutely. For and CVS2. Stand then, medium, such a valuable tool uh, for combos because you can dance back and forth and hit it. You don't have to bother to crouch and give up your mobility. Wow, able to block out of the demon flip and time that move. There is nothing that that move doesn't do. <laughs> Swiss Army knife of moves. Oh, he's got to block it, and there's the new reverse we talked about earlier. Yep. Don't want to deal with that situation. Oh my gosh. Tokido almost had that whip. Great block. Right oh, he was looking for the confirm there. Just it's a, a counter hit short. Far. Yeah. Here we go. Command throw, and now you got to guess. Oh, goes for the meaty crouching media punch. Look at this. All of a sudden, an onslaught of attacks. Tokido slowly dancing his way out, 
Trying to push a little bit, quivering up and down. Just in case. Oh, oh no! no! What? Oh, no! He knew that that was not a true block streak. The fraudulence. He got the critical R in between, but it's not enough to kill you. Oh, wow. Oh, but the trade Quitted. will put Fudo at match point. Wow. Wow. That low forward fireball has been the story of this matchup so far. Uh, finding the flaws, calling out the false block strength in the biggest way possible. Oh, no uppercut there. I'm really surprised with Tokido. This is match point for CYG Beast Fudo. How would it be if we started this with Tokido getting sent to loser's bracket right away? Wow! Hell of a story, James. EX uppercut. Crazy EX uppercut from Tokido right there. Oh! But he got hit out of the yeah, air again, again, so he's negative on the top two. Again! He did it again! He wow. hadn't done him at all, and even last year in his top eight run, he oh, almost no, never did no, a wake-up no. EX. What a filthy combo. Beautiful setup there from Fudo. All right, V-Trigger activated. Goes for the throw. Tokido willing to take that small amount of damage. This is where he shines. All the components of Fudo's got no, enough. Not, not quite. Yet. Just Down. one more chunk. It's so scary now for Tokido. Got to find a way to get in oh. there. Finds the hit, not enough. Oh, nice fireball right to the face. All, all of right. a sudden, he's changing up his strategy. You can see all of a sudden projectiles out of I nowhere. I love it. I love it. It's so smart. He knows he can't take a random jab, so he's shifted up the strategy, and just like that. Oh, but Nadesco oh, is going to come punish. down the tank. On Nadesco punish. What an incredible call. Fudo. Holy cow. How is that fair? That's supposed <laughs> to be one-on-one. -on -one. This Two is 